Hello, we are the Innovative Explorers Incorporated, and we are here today to tell you about our brand new game that we have come up for you to help improve your sales. So, this is our team. I am Sarah, I'm the President Sales Director, and then we have Kim, our Research and Development Manager, who will be going over our new game, the rules, and the development behind it. Katie is our accountant, who will be going over the budget, our revenue expectancy. Barry is our advertising and marketing manager, and he'll be going over our marketing and advertising plans. And then Madeline is our public relations manager, who will be going over her community outreach ideas and her public relations plan. So first, I just wanted to start with some game market trends and why we decided on the game that we did. So one of the top trends according to the Toy Industry Association is that parents are actually more inclined to spend money on a larger, more expensive game than small games that are less expensive. Um, it's kind of like a wow factor type thing. Um, and then what the market is lacking right now is that there's not a ton of games that donate to charitable causes and that are advertised as so. And as many people know, 45% of consumers are more inclined to buy a product that's connected to a charitable cause or organization. So we believe that adding that to our game will really help sales. And then also the market is lacking games to help educational professionals to distinguish early developmental red flags. Um, so here's some game industry trends. So here are the sales right now. 46% of all game sales are video games. And then the next highest one is educational games. So those would be like learning games that are more like cognitive learning. So what we think that um, the current needs in the game trends that we have um, studied is that we need more games that work on teamwork and social development. And then we need more games that have motor skills. So now, Tim, our, 